Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to provide a brief overview of the capacity planning module within Resource Management by Smartsheet. Now, I've done a previous video which is much more in depth on resource management overall, but as the capacity planning piece was uh, introduced subsequently, this is just going to focus on that piece and just show you some elements of it. Now, before we dive in, just a quick reminder, if you find this of value, which we trust you do, please do consider liking, subscribing, and letting others know about it. This way then, they will also be recommended the content um, on this. And if you ever want any support with your smart sheets or resource management, then please do get in touch because our passion is to help organizations around the world get the most out of Smartsheet and really unlock that through our industry experience on that side. So no further ado, let's dive in and let's have a look. So going into resource management, I'm just on the page showing all the people within the team and with the filtered view. So let's go to the schedule view. If I go into here, it opens up on the capacity view and you can see that in March, we've got a challenge in the DevOps team, for example, but the other teams, they seem to be okay. And you can see production planning is clearly underutilized at the moment on this bit. And there's plenty of capacity within the, um, the training team as well. So just a kind of a quick view of how this works and what are the options here. So you can see via month or by week as well. So a more zoomed in view and you can see actually, well, training team are pretty busy for the first two weeks and then it tails off on that side. And the solutions team, so this is great for a more granular view. And let's just go back to the monthly view. And then if I start rolling down this, I can group it by discipline. So who are the various teams in the organization, or I can see it by the role, so role or level within the organization as well. So we can see who are the people or resources that are most affected on this view here as well. So let's go back to discipline. And then in terms of the views, I typically have it set on FTEs, full-time equivalent. So the number of people in the team but you can change that view to be by percent. So it shows you the percent of the total capacity um, of resources within your teams, or you can see it by the number of hours of capacity for the team as well. So just switch that back to FTE. And then you've got this option here to view all projects within your organization, or if you want to be able to see certain projects, you can click on that as well. So if I click here, I'm actually gonna switch off and remove all projects altogether and you can see it's gone down to zero. And if I want to, I can then bring in various projects, say by a specific client. So if I go into WA, for example, it's got Milan, Juniper, Tango, and Tablet, and I can start overlaying individual projects as we go and start seeing what the impact of these projects are on this mix. So if I bring them all in, then we can start seeing what the impact is there. Or if I want to, again, just go back to the whole view and let's look at the whole organization, then we can see what the situation is. So let's just dive in and see what this what happens if I hover over any of this information. So wherever I go and click on a tile, it shows me what is the total capacity and what is scheduled. So you can see there's four FTEs for the solutions team. Let's focus now on DevOps, which is the one that's over allocated here. So if I go to here, it's over allocated and I've got the option to go to the allocation heat map. So if I click that, it takes me straight into the heat map overall, and I can actually see what's going on here. So we can see it's a placeholder, so projects where I haven't actually allocated people as yet that are over capacity on that side. So if I want to see that detail, I can either open it up on the side here, or I can see the assignment details and see what people are assigned to on, on this bit here. So in this case, I can see that there's, um, 200% for a developer, so that's actually two roles. So that would then take up Andy and Dev in that bit. And then we can see on this one, actually this is for 50%. So that's the impact of this one. So the point here, if I just go back to the capacity view, is that it's a great way of seeing what is the situation. Let's just go to a weekly view and let's go to the training team and what we do about it. So in this case, for example, if I go into the view here and we can see Catalina is over allocated on this piece. So I can actually see, well, if Catalina is over allocated and someone else is under allocated, I can do something and make some changes on that basis as well. So here you've got the opportunity just to, if I just decide now, I'm gonna move this, this task out for 
um, Catalina and to make that change that will then actually resolve the situation for Catalina on her side so she's no longer over allocated and then we can look further down in June we can see some issues down there but that's we've got plenty of time to resolve that so coming back to capacity plan again really valuable uh, addition to resource management by Smartsheet where you can see that full view. I'll do a separate video in terms of scenario planning, which again is a really powerful way to use this tool as well. So trust that's been useful for you. Um, let's just switch back here. So thanks for watching and more videos to follow. Bye for now.